Hello and welcome to another tutorial in Game Maker. And I'm sorry I haven't been making tutorials as often as I used to. A lot of you've been asking me to make more tutorials, and that's uh, probably the main reason why I'm doing this tutorial. So uh, your uh, encouragement in the comments really, really help uh, me get off my butt and actually make some tutorials. So for some reason, uh, I didn't save or my game didn't save when I did the grenade thing so I just remade the sprite and remade the object which was sort of a pain but I mean not not a big deal we didn't actually go over too much code in that tutorial so um, I'm just gonna continue on with a grenade okay so uh, let's go to object man and let's say if we want to press the mm, Say the G button. So letters. Okay. If you press the G button, it's gonna do something right here. Uh, you know what? I bet there's a way to do this in the code. So let me go to step event. Yep, I knew it. Uh, I'm a noob. I haven't done this in a while. Sorry. Okay. So if keyboard check or G. Uh, throw grenade. Okay, so we need to make some more variables here. So I'm just going to say uh, grenade ammo equals three. Grenade rate equals, mm, let's say you have to wait a, se a whole second. Or is that half a second to throw a grenade? I don't know. I should make it a 60 frames just to be safe. Uh, firing grenade equals zero. And I think that's it. Uh, actually, we need to make another variable called uh, total. Actually, just call it grenade thrust equals zero and that's how far we're going to uh, throw the gate grenade and then um, max grenade thrust and let's say 2010 okay maximum grenade thrust okay so now uh, let's get delete that uh, go in here no go in here go to keyboard check uh, then what we want to do is say g equals instance create uh, x y object grenade and then we need to set something g dot direction equals image angle g dot speed equals grenade thrust uh, and that's pretty much it so of course we need to put some if statements in here so if grenade ammo is greater than zero and I'm just going to oopsies Actually, you know, I'm going to place it here. Another if statement here. If keyboard check released ord g, uh, then we're going to do this stuff. Actually, we still need this if statement. I'm used to programming with Visual Studio now, so it's sort of hard to transition back into Game Maker, as you might have already seen me do. Okay, so now I'm going to explain this. Okay, if we hold down G, 
is going to increase our grenade thrust. Grenade thrust plus equal point uh, zero two. I don't know. And if grenade thrust is greater than grenade thrust oh, is greater than max grenade thrust then grenade grenade thrust equals max grenade thrust I apologize if I sound a little bit tired but I am a little bit tired so I can't really hide it uh, okay so basically when we hold down the G key uh, actually you know what? we should make this pressed there we go when we hold down the G key uh, we're going to check if we have enough grenades to throw we're going to increase our grenade thrust by 0.2 and if our grenade thrust goes over our threshold we're going to um, set it equal to our actually we should do, I'm going to do this set it equal to zero so it goes back at the beginning just in case so you have to uh, time it correctly to throw it the uh, right thingy okay actually you know what I sorry I can't speak today uh, grenade ammo minus equal one. Okay, uh, I think that's it. Let's go try it. I'm gonna pause the video and try it. I'll see you there. Okay. Oh, that was a fail. I just paused the video when I started coding. That was a fail. Okay, anyways, uh, I'm going to show you what I did. Okay, I started working on the draw event, and I said if keyboard pressed G. Actually, you know what? Let's just. Say it, check. The keyboard check, if you're pressing the G key, it's going to draw a green rectangle over your man's head, uh, depending on the thrust on, or how long you've pulled down the key. And then I changed the maximum grenade thrust to 100 and just copy this down if you haven't seen this before. And I'm just going to change this to check, just to be on the safe side. And I'm going to play it again, so we can all see what it does. OK, there we go. There we go. There we go. That's why I wasn't throwing, because I had the wrong thing in McBobber. But OK, it's going a little bit too far, to say the least. Uh, OK, and when I released. Uh, sorry, not released. When I release the grenade, I'm going to want to set grenade thrust to zero. And I'll just copy that out of the if statement. And let's change it this to blue. Make it more visible and test it again. Okay, well the rectangle is actually going outside, uh, going, starting outside, coming inside when it gets stronger, I don't want that, so I'm going to start it in the center, X, and then it's going to grow outside, so just uh, change the signs, I'm going to change the threshold to 10, oops, wrong, thing like bobber. 20 actually. Uh, 
and I'm going to change the acceleration or the grenade thrust acceleration to like point, point 0.3. That's good. Let's test. Okay, here we go. So I can hold down the grenade, you see, and this blue line slowly uh, grows above my head and shrinks suddenly after it hits a threshold. And if I try to time it correctly, where it hits the maximum amount of bar. Okay, what the heck happened? Okay, what the heck? Okay, excuse me. I had damage here instead of damage uh, when I try to copy down the code from the other tutorial that I made. Uh, so yeah, that was just a dumb thing. But now as you can see, if uh, we go ahead and try to chuck a grenade at the zombie, if we throw it, if we try to time it correctly where the bar is at full length, it goes crazy, bounces all around, uh, it, yeah, it basically goes very far, but if we just do it a little bit, it doesn't go as far. See, like that. You see, and it killed that grenade. It killed that zombie. You see. Uh, but I guess what we eventually want to do is do it to all the zombies. So uh, I'm gonna do that, fix that real quick. Uh, let's see. For instance, blah blah blah. Find an enemy object. This is blah blah blah. Uh, oopsies. Okay, so if instance dot HP is smaller or equal to zero, then I minus equal one. So basically, what this is doing is uh, when instance dot HP is minus equal to actually, no, we don't actually don't have to do this. Sorry. Never mind. Uh, I realized that it does it anyways. Uh, it kills multiple zombies anyways when I further tested it so you guys don't have to worry about that that was just me being dumb so I'm gonna increase the range a little bit to like 192 and I'm going to make a new sprite I'm gonna make this tutorial long just because I haven't been making much so you guys get something a little bit extra I'm gonna create a new sprite Transform, resize canvas to 198. Okay, there we go. Oops, wrong size, 192. Okay, I'm just gonna make an explosion. Explosion, uh, what do you call it? Animation. Okay, so shouldn't be that hard. red okay orange I'm gonna just pause it and make it okay just made a little uh, exploding image uh, by the way it previews at 30 frames per second but your game might run at 60 so what you may want to do is go to animation stretch animation let's see uh, I think it's stretch. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Press OK. Wait just a sec. Okay, yeah, you want to go to animation, stretch, and then set the number how long you want the animation. It's five frames now, and we'll double that, so I'll make it ten. So that's 30 frames. This is at 60 frames. And that seems a little bit I don't know. I want it a little bit slower, so I'll stretch it to 20. That seems good. Okay, so I got my animation, just see it's sprite, explosion. Uh, <clears throat> create an object, object, explosion. Set the uh, 
sprite add a step event control code say if image index equals image number minus one instance destroy then go to grenade the step next to instance destroy instance create xy object explosion that will create our explosion let's go ahead and test it now okay let's test it now Good. Uh, there's a little glitch with my animation. I'll have to fix that. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. That's how you create a grenade. So, thank you for watching this tutorial. I know I haven't been making much lately. Uh, I might make more in the future. I don't know. It just depends on how many people watch my videos, how many people uh, want to watch my videos, etc. I'm I'm just debating if it's a worth a while time. Uh, so uh, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Those always help me, encourage me to make more tutorials. Tell it to your, tell it to your friends, everybody, and I will definitely start making more. Okay, uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and goodbye.